Hello, Planet Poke viewers. It's Num Next. It's, it's been a really long time since I last uploaded here. I apologize about that, but I've been on vacation for a quite a long time, actually. I was on vacation for three weeks, and then I started working on my own channel, so I apologize about all the stuff that I have not been uploading to Planet Poke, but this series will still be continuing on. And I hope you guys will actually be very supportive about this. But the last top comment on the Youngster Joey battle was Giovanni, in fact. So I went to Serapy, I looked up his team, and this is what he has. Now, people have been questioning why I put some of these Pokemon on these teams and why not something else. Well, pretty much, I look where they have their teams on Serapy, Wikipedia, and I find out which ones work better as a synergy. So pretty much, I'm trying to cover everything that I need to hit, and... Giovanni's team is not really the best balanced because the water type could screw him up. That's kind of why Persian and Kingler are there. So yeah, we're going to get straight into this battle. I am on the opposing side as my opponent is on this side. It is a UU match and let's just get started. My opponent's going to lead off with Azelf as a lead off with my Golem, predicting him to lead off with Azelf to try to set up rocks. But he goes through the taunt straight away, so as you can see, he's lead Azelf with normal gem explosion, I'm guessing. So I just go for the Rock Blast, potentially breaking a Focus Sash if he does carry that. And um, he just goes for the Explosion with the normal gem boosted power like I expected, but it does nothing. And it kind of was a bad play to do. He should have U-turned out, but I guess he really did not care about his stats self. So now he's going to come out to his Blastoise here, which is bad for me. So I'm going to switch right out here into my Persian. Basically because I am a Specs Persian, and it's actually a thing, and it's really strong. But he goes for the skull and does a substantial amount of damage, and on top of that, it burns me. <sighs> Not really the best place, but I go for the T-Bolt. I guess you kind of expected that. As my person is basically useless, I can live rocks again, but I just decided to sack it off. Because I have no safe switch into this thing. If he was going to go for the pursuit anyway, so really I had no other option to. But, um, yeah. So I'm going to come out to my Nido Queen here, which is Choice Scarfed. As he goes for the Sucker Punch, I'm just going to go for the Earth's Power and knock him out because Sheer Force boosted Stab. So his next Pokemon is going to be his Crobat. This thing is kind of problematic. I don't have any safe switch-ins. Really, my Kingler or my Golem are basically the hard checks of this thing. As you can see, that Brave Bird did nothing. So I get a free chance to set up Rocks. But he goes for the Taunt this turn, and it's really unfortunate because I can't set up my Rocks safely. So Rocks kind of screws up two of his Pokemon, but he does have a Spinner. So he's going to come up to a Snorlax at this turn, as I'm not just going to go for the Rock Blast, trying to cripple down that Crobat, because I have my Rocks not up, and I'm trying to do as much damage as possible, because really it's the only problem to my team if I lose my Golem. So I'm going to come up to Kingler here, expecting him to go for the rest, or not the rest, the uh, Toxic or something, but he goes for the Curse, and I guess that's really bad for me. So I go for the Crab Hammer Stab, so it does a decent amount of damage. I am Adam in Life Orb Stab. And he does not get the paralysis, which is really good, as this was super unfortunate. <laughs> I got the maximum crit, and it was really bad for him, because it ended up mattering a lot, as you can see from the first Crab Hammer. But um, he's just going to go for the HP Grass and knock me out. As I get a free switch out to my Machamp, taking anyone hit, I can go for a Dynamic Punch. I am Choice Bandit Adamant. So basically, someone's going to get hit hard, even Resisted, that does a lot of damage, 26%. Because Crobat can be defensive, which is surprising, and actually is a possible thing. So I'm going to switch that around to my Nido Queen, hoping he hurts himself in confusion. He does not, and he knocks me out. So this is kind of bad now. I don't have any safe switch-ins. My Golem is the only thing. And on top of that, my Golem really isn't at much HP. So um, he's going to hurt himself with confusion, which is great. I thought for a minute that he was going to go for the taunt, but um, it looked like he actually was trying to. So, he gets knocked out by the Rock Blast, and that is great. So, Big Threat Gun. His HP Grass can potentially knock me out, but, you know, he gets a crit. I don't know if it mattered, but then again, HP uh, Grass is times 4 super effective, so I highly doubt that it did. So, he goes for the HP Grass again. It does a lot of damage, so he specs, so you can tell it really did not matter. Uh, I go for the Daring Punch, and he is dead. His last Pokemon, Blastoise. I'm basically YOLOing it to this point. Too bad I didn't use Nido King, because that's like Giovanni's strongest Pokemon. And it's unfortunate, but um, yeah. I'm going to just finish off the game with another Dynamic Punch, and that will be GG. He does even get the burn, but Machamp is well trained enough to knock him out from that range. I get the crit. <laughs> so that'll be GG, X, S, Master, X. 
interesting name. But um, if you guys enjoyed this series, please leave a like and comment down below the next character you would like for me to do. Now make sure to leave it as a top comment, that way I'll be able to see it. And you viewers can actually choose which one you want to pick. So if you guys could leave a top comment saying which character you want me to do next, that'd be great. I'm going to continuously start uploading again on Planet Pokey. And uh, yeah guys, in the next time, I'll see you later.